Hello. Uh, this is my very first voiceover speed paint that I'm doing. Um, yeah, so this is just for a PNG that I made for myself for my Twitch streams. Uh, I'm layering it almost like a live 2D model. If any of you guys know um, how to layer a live 2D model, if not, it's basically. Any part that you want to move has to be drawn separately on its own layer. And I mean, that that's basically it. It all has to be kind of separate. And I don't know what to say because I've never recorded a voiceover. <laughs> Um, and this isn't like a, any sort of tutorial, but, uh, if you guys want something that's like more in depth, let me know and I will write more of a script for that. Um, but this is, this is totally unscripted. Uh, I did not script this. I just kind of wanted to go in and, uh, just kind of figure out how to go about doing this. I got a nice little setup. I got a blanket over my head and my two monitors. <laughs> I have a little fort. I have like a little blanket fort. Um, but yeah, so basically this process is just me coloring and layering and making sure that anything that I'm gonna have bounce in the PNG Tuber Plus program is kind of all by itself. All by itself. Um, so yeah, so that's basically, like, each individual hair section, I guess you could call them, uh, cause they're not strands, but, uh, yeah, each individual hair section, um, the pigtails are in one section, they're not, like, left and right pigtail, they're together in one. The back hair, the face itself, like the head itself, is separate from all of the facial features. Um, yeah, I mean, basically you just, just separate every single thing. Every single thing on its own layer. Uh, especially, yeah, like I mentioned, if you want them to bounce or if you want them to be kind of toggled, I would say. Uh, in PNG Tuber Plus, you can have separate toggles. Um, so like, for me, I have my drawing arm, I have my tablet and my arm, as well as my eyes look at the tablet for my drawing toggle, uh, but I do have a, mm, I guess a gaming toggle. Oh, and here I'm, I'm exporting every single layer on its own thing, because that's how you have to do it for PNG Tuber Plus. Every layer has to be, uh, exported by itself. So that way, you can import them like this. Uh, here I am importing them. Uh, you can hear my cat trying to get into the room because she's crazy. Sorry. Uh, but here is all of PNGs. So many PNGs. Uh, I also created a sprite sheet for the mouth. But for some reason, uh, I can't get it to work in the program. I'm not quite sure how to set it up. I mean, I do know how to set it up, but it's not working for me. Uh, and then once you have everything imported into the program, you have to hit Q or E to change what layer it's on. So, like, the things in the front go in the front, the things in the back go in the back, basically. Uh, almost exactly how you layered it in your drawing program so I just take my time kind of adjusting the layers uh, and then yeah that's all I do <laughs> uh, here I am do, adding some squash as you can see on the left hand side there's a little squash bar but you can kind of see me moving around that basically it makes the things bouncy well not bouncy it makes them squishy but um 
So that way when the PNG kind of bounces when you speak, it has a little fluidity, a little movement, a little bounce, as you would say, a little squish. A uh, little squish. For some of these pieces, like the tail and the charm and the drawing arm, I actually moved the origin, is what they call it, of the PNG. So that way when the ro when it rotates, uh, it kind of stays in place and doesn't fling around. Um, but yeah, and you know, like I mentioned, if you guys want like an actual in-depth tutorial, uh, I will link one down below for PNG Tuber Plus, but I can also make one myself if you guys want me to make one <laughs> uh but yeah so this is this is probably my go-to png tuber program just because i really like the the bounce the the fluidity of the program itself is just really really nice uh i know that there are more detailed png tubers uh programs like there's a v honk i believe v honk uh, oh, here you can see me setting up the toggles for the drawing arm. I did not finish my other arms, so you won't see those, but this is me getting uh, ready for it and prepping it for when I get that one finished up. Uh, get those arms finished. Uh, but yeah, so like, there's V Honk who, who <laughs> like it's a person uh, that has more details that you can do. It's almost like rigging without Life 2D. Uh, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost exactly like rigging, but not as complicated, I would say. Uh, I might look into that eventually, but I don't have the money for it right now. Uh, so, yeah, so I use PNG Tuber Plus. I also use Viedo Tube Mini. That is also a program that I started with. It's more static, but it has the blinking and the mouth movements that is basically needed. And you, it, it kind of moves, I guess. You can set it up, but it doesn't have as much, how do I say, physics like this one does. This one has pretty noise physics. I can bounce in there, be squishy and cute. Um, so yeah, here's me just testing, making sure that everything moves the way I wanted it to. Even though it's a little sped up. <laughs> um, I will post at the end kind of what's what it looks like at normal speed. But yeah, so I'm just <laughs> trying to figure out which microphone is my microphone. And it was at this moment that I realized I fucked up. Just kidding. Uh, I did have to go back in, and as you can see on the left hand side, I changed the Y frequency to 0 0.01, which, um, yeah, 0 0.01, and then the Y amplitude to 4. That basically gives each piece a floating animation. Uh, not really animation, but yeah. So, like, it, it'll float instead of being just static uh, PNGs, it gives it a little bit more life. It gives it a little bit more life. Like, I'm a living, breathing wolf. <laughs> um, but yes, so I just go through, and you have to do it for every individual piece, but I don't think you have to. That's what I did. Um, I'm pretty sure if you make, like the head and then you put you make the head the parent layer and then you put like the bangs and the ears and the facial features attached to the head within the within the png duper plus program there's a way to link layers like i did for the drawing arm and the dolphin charm uh there is a way to have parent layer and child layers and i think if you have parent layers uh, you won't have to do this for each individual layer. You can probably just do it for the said parent layers, like the face or the body, and then everything attached to it should also move up and down, and you won't have to do everything separately. Uh, but yeah, so that's me just going through and 
making sure that everything is life everything is lifelike and yeah so here it is all finished and set up at normal speed uh, so this is basically what I look like when I'm streaming whenever I use this PNG uh, it's very cute I did the art by the way I didn't say in the beginning of the video I did the art uh, yeah this is this is it. This is it. this is how I how I made my little PNG that I'd be using on stream sometimes. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Uh, if you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, if you guys want more voiceover videos or like tutorial type stuff, please let me know. And also a big shout out to my coffee members. Uh, if you guys like my content, you can support me on Coffee, where you will get your name at the end of my videos, like this. And a very special thank you to my Coffee members, Andy Pandy.